Welcome to another Roaster Minute with Monogram Coffee. Today I wanted to talk briefly about roasting for espresso. There's going to be a difference, in my opinion, in how you roast for espresso uh, compared to how you would roast for batch brew or pour overs or, or single origins at home. And the principal difference for me is in development time. Uh, when I'm doing light and bright African coffees, often we're dealing with the development time ratio in the 17, 18% with most of our espressos, and this is based on our water and how we serve things here, but we're often into a 20, 21% development time on espresso roasts. That said, even if you're doing shorter development time, think about how the, the ingredients for your espresso, let's call it a two blend espresso, perhaps a Central American or a South American coffee for the base, a brighter African or natural coffee on the top, those development times can allow you to affect the way each of those coffees come out in the espresso cup. Longer development times tend to allow greater extractions. So if you put your Brazil in at a short development time for the bottom end and the, the bright top note in with a longer development time, you're gonna sway towards tasting the brightness of that coffee and you're gonna downplay the depth and, and some of the sugars and crema that you'd get from the Brazil. If you like the way they both taste in a 50-50 blend, try and get their development times the same. Play with development times if you need to accentuate one over the other by lengthening it. Uh, lengthening it. There we are. Good enough.